it's going to get a lot harder. And just using Blaine County as an example for the rest of the state, um, it's going to get a lot harder everywhere else. Dr. Brock Bemis is one of the nearly 100 confirmed coronavirus cases in Blaine County. He's also one of the two doctors at St. Luke's Wood River Medical Center who contracted the virus. At one point, four of the seven ER doctors were out of commission there because of COVID-19. Being sick or just being exposed to it put them in quarantine. So you can understand how hard Blaine County was hit with this and how quickly it got out of hand. Dr. Bemis has recovered and he's set to go back to work tomorrow for just a short shift. But what will that look like? What can we learn medically from Idaho's epicenter? Do you know what you're getting back into? Uh, well, you know, I think that, I mean, it sounds like it's pretty challenging from talking with my partners as far as how many people are needing to be admitted um, and how many people are really sick. But overall, our volumes are down. I think a lot of people look to uh, St. Luke's and Blaine County because you're the hot spot of Idaho. You're a rural spot in Idaho. And so capacity and equipment and all it takes to fight this virus, people are looking to see how you guys are doing this. And, and what's that going to be like? From a system perspective, I think us being kind of the a canary in the coal mine has been good for the system so that they could learn lessons from what we've gone through and kind of improve their response. Are, are you worried about not having enough resources or even not enough space or, or, or any of that? Right now, our hospital actually had to close down our inpatient unit because we had so many s staff members that were exposed. So we don't, we don't have inpatient beds here. Um, but hopefully, as we all kind of get back to being healthy and get past our 14-day quarantine, um, we'll be able to reopen that. You're a tight-knit group. You mentioned uh, there's just seven of you in the ER uh, facility there, and you guys talk regularly. So what's kind of the mood then when it comes to you and your, your group? Initially, uh, we were pretty panicked, especially since several of us were out of commission. But, um, you know, speaking with my partners that are really working hard right now, it seems more upbeat than it was a week ago. Um, and now... A couple of the folks who are on quarantine are off. Um, I'm, you know, I'm coming back tomorrow. So we should have a full complement of healthy docs ready to kind of kick some butt here. The description that we're being told is to flatten this curve so that we don't go past our, our medical capacity. Is that a real concern? Yeah. The hard part is, is that we're always going to be a week or two or three behind that curve because people aren't getting symptoms until that far into their disease course. So what we do right now isn't going to be realized as far as benefit for a couple of weeks. And I think the, the main key is that a lot of people are sick and they don't even know it. So they're getting people sick um, inadvertently, obviously, but um, that's the biggest threat here. People feeling like, oh, I'm fine. I can go hang out with others. But then you give that to them, they give it to two and a half more people. And, and so it keeps going on, you know? So is there though a light at the end of the tunnel for you and, and Blaine County right now? It looks like this is going to be a lot longer than a couple or three weeks down the road. Um, and I think, you know, it's a challenge to balance the economic concerns with the health, the public health concerns. Cause if everybody gets sick and we do have the numbers of, of deaths that we're talking about, that's going to be a lot worse for the economy in the long run. And not just from an economic perspective, but from taking care of each other perspective. You know, we got to do what we can to make sure we're all safe. And so I think it's just super crucial for everyone to, to stay home. Latest numbers out of Blaine County show 98 confirmed cases of the coronavirus. We're up to 231 across the state with four deaths attributed to the virus. I asked Dr. Bemis if he's now immune to COVID-19, something you may have wondered or many of you have. If you can get it, recover, can you get it again? Well, he told me he isn't 100% sure, but he knows his body had to learn how to fight it and beat it in order to survive.